Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, I bring you a brand new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.15. This is snapshot 19W37A, mainly focusing on bug fixes and a couple of parity changes coming from Bedrock to the Java version, very similar to what happened in last week's snapshot, but stick around until the end of today's video because a couple of people have been doing a little bit of digging into the latest snapshot and there is a hint of the possibility of a cave update or a nether update being the next major update for Minecraft. All right guys, let's go into game and let's go through the changes. So usually the parity is working the other way, it's Bedrock getting the Java features. Now in case you guys didn't know and I covered this in last week, the snapshots and how they work. So that's 19 for 2019. We are currently in week 37 of 2019 and it's the first snapshot, which is why it's A. So starting on the first thing that I wanna go through, advancement enchant, uh, sorry, advancements, enchanting changes. So you know these things, the advancements, the more you play, they're kind of like the achievements for Minecraft Java. They made some changes to do with getting it on a sword or actually having it on a book. It's not really a major change, but that was something that was introduced. Now there hasn't been any changes to bees. Again, everybody's asking about the size. It looks like these are actually going to be staying, but there has been some changes to pistons and farmland. So as you guys know, if you grab any kind of block and you place it on farmland, it's gonna then turn it into ordinary dirt. They've updated two items giving you the ability to push these with pistons. So previously, if you had a fence and you pushed it above farmland, it would then become dirt. It was the same with carpets. So we flick this lever, as you guys can see, you can ho hover fence gates over them and it doesn't change the farmland at all. However, I wanna know what happens if we have a seed here. What happens if we do this? It does in fact break the seed and you're now planting a fence gate. This is also the same with carpets as well. And you can see this a little bit better just under here. It just doesn't make any difference. That was one of the other changes that has been introduced in this latest snapshot. So talking about parity, one of the parity changes is, is that boats now smelt six items at once. So it can be six ore, it can be six food, it can literally be six of anything. This is something that was available on Bedrock and is on Bedrock and has now made its way to Minecraft Java. So another change is to do with campfires. This is another parity feature coming from the bedrock. You can now use shovels to put out your campfire. Really that simple. People seem to use water buckets. It's a little bit easier to use water buckets because if we grab ourselves a campfire, you could just simply put it in there, then put that in there, then grab yourself another water bucket and pick it up. Like I said, when you do use your shovel, it does take away a small bit of your durability. So yeah, that's a new change that's been introduced. And the last parity change is to do with animals. So if you do a little bit of exploring, as far as you go, all the animals on Minecraft Java have always been adult animals. Now on Bedrock, there is the potential of finding baby cows, baby sheep, baby chickens. This has recently been introduced to this version as well. Now I did do a bunch of exploring on this and it did take me a phenomenal amount of time to find myself baby animals. But just as a, as a prime example, you will find baby pigs, baby chickens, and baby cows naturally spawning within your well. They're usually in packs. So wherever you find like three or four pigs, you will usually find at least one baby one. It's the same with cows. But again, it seems to be quite rare on Java. And I'm not sure if that one over there is, no, that's, that's a fully grown one. But yeah, that's what it officially says in the change log. So focusing on a couple of the changes, large ferns now do drop seeds again. Previously, that was a bug and it wasn't happening. Now something else that has changed to the beehive is the texture. It's the texture to do on top and it's also the texture to do down below. This texture was kind of disappearing and broken. You know when it has like that checkered board effect, that's what's happening. Now there has been some changes to do with the placement of certain items. You can see here when I'm in third person, you actually see me placing this and it reaches out to place the item. Previously, nothing happened. It didn't make any movement. There's been a bunch of changes with this. There's also been changes to the eye of the ender. Whenever you throw this thing, your arm actually moves now rather than just being still and not making any kind of movement. There's also been a fix with the enchanted silk touch book. This was a little bit of a cheat that you could do on Minecraft Java. So if you, as long as you are holding the Silk Touch book, I think it's in 1.14.4, so it's gonna be fixed in the next update. If you Silk Touch um, the grass block or any kind of block, you would actually be able to Silk Touch it. Same with glass, 
Yeah, they took that away from us. You can no longer do that. So the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is what I mentioned at the start. The potential of the next update being a cave update or a nether biomes update. Now this information is coming from somebody on social media known as Jinbon who tweeted this saying, One thing I learned from updating carpet to 19W36A is that since now the game is supporting 3D biome layout. Cave update? Nether biomes? Question mark. Who knows? Officials didn't confirm that but didn't deny that either. That's only my sus suspicion. So it's to do with whenever you're pressing like F3 in Minecraft and obviously it's telling me right now I'm in a plains biome, it's to do with the changes when you are underneath. So it looks like there could be the potential of a new cave update or even a nether update. I do have a question for you guys though. If you had to pick between a nether update or a cave update, which one would you pick? I think personally I'd go for a cave update because that's what everybody in the community has been asking for for quite some time. And I do suspect either one of those is going to be the next Minecraft update. And I think the other one will follow after it. Again, let me know, let me know your opinions down below. So have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time.